so uh, hey guys so this is day seven i think and uh, we're going to go to school as you can see from here and last night when we were about to go to sleep we got a, a news from our friends that an earthquake happened close to our from the city we came from so yeah it's not really a good time to be doing some funny things i think but uh, i don't know to be honest well the good news is all my friends is okay because they're like uh, 200 kilometers away from it but they can still feel the earthquake so yeah i'll see you guys later when i find something else to record hey guys welcome back so we're in the biology class as you can see and this is everyone that's that's mon people say that he looks like me so let's see if you guys think he looks like me so maybe we're twins that got separated or something like that so yeah this is the biology class and we're going to learn some biology so i'll see you guys later hey guys welcome so this is the museum natural history museum as you can see so yeah we're here with everyone and we're going to take a photo and we're going to go in the museum and i'll guess i'll vlog when we get in so all right we're gonna make a line and take a picture and then i'll see you guys hey guys so we're in the museum now and i'm with putu and everyone from the system exchange so yeah this this is the lobby i guess for it and you can see it's pretty big that's for the lobby itself and we haven't even seen the building uh, i mean what it's going to show us in the building so yeah i'm actually excited for this because hey the last time i went to a museum was like my elementary school or something i think so yeah this is gonna be fun hey guys so welcome this is we're going in the museum and is everyone and the first thing that we see right now is uh, I'm not sure what it is because I cannot read the Thai words oh okay okay so we found uh, well, not we found, but the museum shows up shows us some um, uh, mushroom that came that was found in Konkan City. Uh, yeah, I forgot what the guide said already. <laughs> <coughs> so hey guys, uh, well for the looks of it, we're going to learn about how the world begins. Let's start from the video, and yeah. The next place looks like it's going to be about dinosaurs, so I think this is going to be fine. And this is Hudu. Okay. Hey, so we're in the next room and we watch the video and this is the room for the... Uh, this. So... This is like the prehistoric era, era right? Uh, which one? The back wall? Like the, the thing over there. Yeah. Like, does it just suddenly jump from prehistoric into factory? Uh, because this one they talk about uh, some very, yeah, can you see the uh, the heavy red, the heavy orange? Uh, yes. It is the area that have uh, the salt. Uh huh. Yes, and so uh, that is why we have the factory of the salt. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Uh, it's like it, a little bit linked to the history too. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the land which is have a lot of salt and then so that is why we have the factory of salt. Oh, okay. Can you get it? Yeah, I get it. Couple of traps. Alright, so, yeah, from the here, so apparently the factory is supposed to be because it's related in, in a way with the history, prehistoric area, era because it also shows where the old salt place mine i guess in the area so yeah that's why it's here and then yeah 
But I think that's it for this room. I don't know what else I can add in here, so I'll see you guys in the next room. But as you might like to ask, it used to be the pool, but it has or has changed to be a rock. So that's a petrified boot. That's a calcite. And that's I don't know, I cannot read. That's a magnetite. I can read A magnetite, if I recall correctly, is also one of a one of the kind of mineral that can be smelted into iron. As dwarf fortress told uh, I mean not told me, as dwarf fortress taught me because Usually when we found magnetite in Dwarf Fortress, we can just melt them down into iron. So I think that's iron in the case. And barite, I'm not sure. That's a rock salt, gypsum, another magnetite, another oxide, a dolomite, that's some... Oh, hey, I remember do dolomite is used to be like a flux stone in Dwarf Fortress. It can be used for building materials or... If I recall, Blackstone can also be used to make steel. And that's a slate. Uh, that's some kind of rock that can be used to use to kind of building. I remember that from Rimworld. Marble, that's pretty much everyone knows. Hornfels, uh, I don't remember. Oh, so this is the Metamorphic. So it's from the Metamorphic. That was made. That is the that was the rock came from. And that is that stone marble Astoria. So that sandstone stone is actually from a sand that got hardened and become sand. So yeah, that's what I know from this rock at least. Though I'm not sure if I'm actually right because everything I know about these rocks are from a game. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I should just ask the guide or something like that. But you know, it's fun trying to become a smartass or something like that. Oh, two minutes off. That's an acid. Oh, more. That's an acid rocks. Pink granite, granite, obsidian. Yeah, every. I think everyone knows what obsidian is. There's a uh, rhyolite and the site. So this is all the basic rock with like basalt. There's a mudstone there and sandstone too. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next room. So the baby of frog is also eaten. Yes, that's what, uh, I don't know what he means, what is it called? Uh, tadpole. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, from baby, yeah. yeah, baby from tadpole. tadpole. Yeah. Yeah. We, we cook it and we eat it. I mean, long time ago. Does it taste good or have you tried it? I don't, I never tried it before. <laughs> oh, okay. What about the frogs? The frog. Have you tried it? Oh, okay. Maybe you can add as a... It's nice. Yeah, really? I mean, yeah, it's I always want to try. I mean, might as well try and try out some some of the weird food. So I tried crickets already, and I tried the others. Worm. Oh yeah, worm. Oh, yeah, worm. yeah, I should have tried that. Yeah, I should have tried that. So yeah, I would have tried the crickets. I should have tried the worm too, but apparently I forgot to do that. And yeah, I know I'm still having a flu. So hey, this is still plants. So the camera has something. Oh, it's like those uh, toy from your kids. Not from your kids, from our kids' time. I, I don't know if you guys played that before. I remember playing this in my kids when in my childhood, not kids' time. What the hell am I even talking about? So yeah. I'm still seeing the picture. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see the picture or I'll try and record the picture. Alright. I'll stop and I'll put the camera in. So that is the picture that we that shows up in the uh, camera. It's like your old 
thing. Hey, isn't that the confession? Uh, co the confession bear. That's a honey bear, right? And this is. I'm not sure. I think it's a plan. I don't remember what kind of bird is that. I don't know what kind of plan is that. That's a. I think that's a giant moth or something. Another plan. Deer thing or elk. Not sure. That's tapir, right? Or boar. This is I forgot the name, but it's those uh, plant it fly eating plant. Okay, so we're back to the confession bear. Uh, yeah. So yeah, here we are knowing about the spice. As you can see, it looks like spice. And it's not focusing. Okay. All right. So this is the plant. This is the, I guess no. I think this is the kind of wood. I mean wood from the prehistoric area or something. And then I think we're going to go to the next location. I'm not sure to be honest, but yeah. Okay, so as everyone is gone now, you guys can see that this is the spice, I think. And this is spice, I'm not sure. No, it's not spice, it's fish. Uh, uh, this one is ants. Eight. Yeah, this is, yeah, this uh, ants. Small fish. Yeah. Wait, this is ants? Fried yes. ants? Yes. And this is the eggs of the ants? Yes. Have you tried that? Yes. Does it taste good? Uh, I prefer this one, but I don't like this one. I don't like this one. Okay, so, but th this, it is good. Yeah. So, any place you can recommend to get this? Uh, uh, the market. I think the market. The market? <laughs> yeah, the market. Go to the tree. Well. <laughs> Go to the tree and use the small basket. The oh, the, oh this is the three ends, like the yeah. carpenter end. Yeah. Ah, okay. If we can make it happen, it must be from the natural place. Ah. I think this is this fruit. I think I know it. Matoa, I think. I think that's matoa. And I think that's some kind of seed. Coffee, maybe? No, that's not coffee. That's a type of phobia, dangerous flower because that looks kind of like a type of phobia thingy. Right, so I'll be following the guide to go upstairs. I'll see you guys when we see another new thing. So they're adding some stuff and something will happen. Okay, so Ooh. they're blending it until it's okay. So we cannot hold click, we have to smash. Smash the button. Smash it like you mean it. Boom, it's finished and now it's going to be salt I think. I can't read that. Oh, this is the evolution. As you can see, I'm not really good at biology, so I cannot help you guys on how this happened. But it's the evolution theory. Well, not theory, it's actually facts, I think. 
Well, I, actually, no, we are not sure if the theory is actually correct or not. But, high chance it's going to be because, you know, it's more believable. Because I think it's still called the evolution theory instead of evolution fact. So I think that's why it's not a fact yet. I think that's because it's still called that. So I don't want to upset people on that. And I think those are the insects. The insects that can be fried if you want to and eat them. This is insects. And then this are animals. Just like animals, animals, animals. So, and I'm gonna get copyright if I keep continuing that. So yeah, this is all the animals. I don't know if they're extinct or they're just... I'm not sure. I don't think they're extinct yet, so... That's a reason. I think that's a gecko. Yeah, I think that's a gecko. And I don't address. That's some kind of bird, I'm not sure. That is a jungle cat, ocelot, I think. And an elk. And a monkey. Some kind of a albino squirrel. Uh, I forgot this thing name. I forgot the name of this thing. Armadillo maybe? But armadillo is not in the forest. I'm not sure. So yeah, that's... This side, I'll see the other side over there. Okay, that's it. So, May wants to do the vlog thingies. I mean, the vlog thing, okay? So. You can see it. This elephant and then a bear, a horse. Polar bear. Polar bear. Ursus. And the name of biology, you can. Ursus, Ursus mortimus. mortimus. Okay. Please do not touch, as you can see down yeah. there. So. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, and touch. <laughs> okay. But they can't be shaved because of the winter in Thailand. Is it hot? Yeah. So it changed to be. It will be brown. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's it, or maybe there's more. That's it? Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is like she said, she explained is the effect like a visual effect 
that makes it looks like it's a never ending uh, tunnel even though it actually really really shallow shallow because of the effect of uh, making the light uh, making the light uh, reflect the light into like this so it will looks like it's different but it's actually not that deep okay so this other thing like this like I don't know why like saying one everything okay and this is light stick press the ball button to see the whole picture oh oh so as you can see from the thing different picture and if you use this it will turn off oh to try a different image yay so yeah I can just do this change again that just shows I uh, Illuminati okay so this is the hidden light plant power let's see what does this thing do jellyfish and nothing okay I'll just go to the next room what about this room let's see what does it what it does it's I'm not sure what does this room do it's about like you have yeah, to close it stand there and yes and close or maybe you put your hands up and then close your eye and i'm gonna put the flash and then okay are you ready and close your eye like that whoa that's really bright holy hell <laughs> so it's supposed to show like an afterglow but it's not uh, if you use flash it's gonna be deep gone okay so you can see a bit of the shadow from people yep you can see some of the thing okay so yeah that's what this do it's just a really bright flash so you can see the after image in the small uh, canvas with phosphor so you can still see the light left in there just like when you uh, have your light turned off you can see your switch I actually I forgot to use the front camera well that's fine so this is an electron gun like what so I think that means it's broken so never mind it does something storage ring I'm not a science kind of guy, so I'm, I cannot really explain to you guys what that does. And that is a picture, uh, like a drawing about the thief stuff. And if you look, it kind of looks like it's move here the body move oh actually we're back to the old place so we're going to go back home then okay we're going to go down and go back outside uh, that's I, I guess that concludes the tour thank you guys for watching I'll see you video goodbye I'll see you guys later bye actually that didn't actually conclude this tour but that's the tour because there's still more here but I cannot explain because we're going to move so I'll see you guys, guys so my battery is dead so I'm using Putu's camera well, I mean phone camera. So yeah, I'm here with the many dinosaur. Well, not many, just two. Like over here is a dinosaur, a carnivore. From the looks of it, it's. I don't think that's a T-Rex, to be honest. I think that's more like a Albertosaurus, maybe. I'm not really good at. The, I'm not really good with uh, dinosaurs, but 
I'm pretty sure that's not a T-Rex. Maybe Al Alberto? No, no, Alberto is a bit, a bit dark. Uh, it's not Carnotaurus. I don't think that's Carnotaurus, to be honest. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not really good with carnivore, but this over here is uh, a dinosaur with long neck. So, usually that means it's either Brontosaurus, Brachiosaurus, or uh, Camarasaurus. And as you can see, we, we also have some stone here to show the stone that was there in their old time and this is some of the old paleo uh, trees which is used in the movie of Jurassic Park and also one of the plants that came from the old time yeah I think that's it I'll see you guys later okay, roll, okay. Huh? We are at <laughs> Khan Khan Museum. Khan Khan Museum, okay. So you can, you can really do uh, this. Uh, animal. Hi, checking the flock. <laughs>